So, of course, we're going to be getting Vexiol and Sandy playing. As you can see, because you can read, unless you can't read, I wouldn't discriminate. Smash Brothers is a perfectly enjoyable experience without comprehension of reading. What's up? I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never fucking learned how to read. <laughs> that's, that's his first anyway. F-bomb in this entire stream. It's <laughs> I incredible have been for him. constantly. Have you not been listening to me, Tail? Um, I try not to. In other news, uh, we have Vex versus Frog. Vexiol going Pichu. As we know in Smash 4, he was a Mewtwo main, and many, many people have dropped that character going forward, and many, many people have also decided to pick up Pichu, because he's rather good. Or she. This is the notch-eared Pichu skin, which is canonically female in the Pokemon games. Oh, right. So, let's not get that mistaken. On the other hand, we have Frog, a Corrin main, I believe, in Smash 4, all the way up to the end. Although he picked up DK a little yeah. bit. He used DK quite a bit. Corrin was definitely his main, but after the nerfs that that character has gone through, I don't blame him for leaving that one behind. Looks like he's going to be playing DK in this game, then. Yeah, and I, what the I like the changes to DK. He's lost his main kill confirmed, but he's got new ones. I would say, on the whole, he's probably better than before, which I never, ever expected. It certainly didn't work for Bowser. Ooh, good up tilt, slapping that little mouse thing in the face and into the blast zone. Not so good of an edge guard from Vexiol. He had to force himself to use agility. And of course, Caught the main strap that there. you want to bear in mind with Pichu's recovery move, if you don't have to use the second part of agility, you shouldn't. Because the second part of agility, at least in melee, did more damage to you than the first part did. Oh, agility, I thought it was pretty tough. It's called agility on Pichu's because this one doesn't do any damage. So ah. they're technically different moves. They Except work in the himself. same way. I think agility goes a little further and has the recoil. Ooh! But no hitbox. Nice spike. But who needs a hitbox? Taking the lead over on your Sandy. Up when you've got that down air. Who needs a hitbox <laughs> on your side B? Very still stupid in this game. Yeah. It's more stupid than before because now it used to be in Smash 4 where attacks did less knockback to you if you were buried. That's not the case anymore. You get no. the full knockback. Now, when you get buried, you just store the knockback until you jump out of the thing. And then with that, it's just like, oh, you get F smashed in, you die. Yeah, it's even worse. Like That was the reason Villager always used to use up smash instead of side smash when he buried opponents with down smash because of the changes in knockback. But Vexiol secures the first game with a side smash. Very good. Uh, I'm not sure if I call that a comeback uh, from Vexiol. He did lose the first stock, but uh, it was pretty even the entire way through. Yeah, and uh, Sandy was not at particularly high percent when he got deletoed. But that's Delito. the Pichu forward smash for you. It's terrible in terms of range, but that power, shockingly good. Stop. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said it was unintentional? No. Yeah, you're right, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so Vexio giving a nice wink to their camera there, is going to go into this game with... An advantage. Looks like and we're this is Smash an upset, really, because Sandy got top eight at DBZ last month, last year, you could say as well. And that was out of ooh, how many people were there? Tons. Plenty of upset wins from him, but might be a slower journey there. I've just noticed what Vex's in-game tag is, and now I really want Frog to just be him. Hmm. Ah. Just with a stick, just beat him. Okay, there you go. <laughs> right, never Ooh, mind. Don't sleep on Peaches. Been there. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore, apparently. Well, wow. oh, Peaches might just be really light. It can and small. work in really situational spots, but it's never going to kill. Well, yeah, it's a nair. Of course, your main. Oh, I thought you were referring to the Ding Dong. Oh, no, he up through up there. Oh! He's absolutely flattened him! Excellent there was a mouse there, on the exactly. stage before, now there's just a pancake. Absolutely crushes the young man, the young woman, because it's not cheered Pichu. <laughs> Let's get that right again. It's a mouse. Semi hoo ha. Not hoo ha. Look, I'm going to stop now. Oh, Good. trying to read the um, roll in or the normal get up, but he rolls away instead. Look how strong that side smash is. It is very small, strong for a sort of small, tiny thing. Definitely on track right now to get another game three scenario in a row. Be interesting. I don't know. Pichu's well, Vex is uh, very high percent. 
Sandy's not. They're on even stocks, though, and, you know, people always say one stock is not a lead. And, of course, we've got to introduce people to the Vexiol curse, Have which we? always applies at Manchester events. If he is underseeded, then he will upset whoever's above him and make pros. And if he is seeded about right or a little too high, then he drowns. That's what happens every time. So right now, we're going with the approach to say that he's been underseeded and he's going to upset Frog at this rate. You can never, ever tell what Vexiol is going to do. He's such an inconsistent but still no, good I've, player. Yeah, I played him a couple of times in Smash 4. Sometimes it was close, sometimes it destroyed me. I never beat him, to be fair. But mm, I yeah. could in the early days, but he, he really stepped Ooh. up. And he's stepping up right now because he's only 60% behind. And in Pichu versus Donkey Kong, I, I feel like that is a very sizable difference, but nevertheless, Vexiol is shutting me right up yeah, and has like... completely recovered the entire oh! gap and secured the set with a thunder. Wow, very good comeback from Vexiol there. Well, we have a new threat for Smash Ultimate. That is a scary, scary Pichu. And Pichu um, is getting to our headphones sorry you by the sound that. of that. Dad. It's just so electrifying that it's interfered with the circuits and the headphones. <laughs> Looks like Vex has upset That's what Frog. Happens. He can't she can't control her electricity. So it discharges all over the joint. But Vexiol, top seed of his pool in the Team Rocket guys as well. This is an evil <laughs> Pichu. I like the guys. Very good stuff from our stylish. All right, this man. is all. 